Hello and welcome back to California Geology. I'm Dr. Robert Lopez and today I'm going to finish up uh, the deserts PowerPoint uh, talking about the riches of the California desert and those are the evaporite minerals. So we know that in 1849 uh, gold, well actually it was 1848 when gold was discovered in California by Marshall, uh, James Marshall and then uh, the gold rush happened in 49 but a lot of Prospectors would be uh, gold miners would uh, uh, were seeking gold in uh, mountain ranges to the east of the Sierra Nevada, and their luck was not very good. And they realized that the the desert floors had uh, important minerals, and those are the borate minerals. And here in my hand, I'm holding um, the mineral ulexite, uh, also called cotton ball. And some of these minerals literally were just lying on the desert floor. You could just pick them up or shovel them into a barrel with your shovel. Um, and so some of these borate minerals, are, uh, the reason they're important is because boron is an important um, chemical element used in a variety uh, uh, of uses. Now, um, uh, most of these borate minerals are either a, a calcium or sodium based. And three I have up here is ulexite, the one I was just showing you. There's one, also one called tincal, which is also known as borax. Tin cal and then colmenite, uh, third one. So these are all examples of some of these borate minerals. And and the idea is that the uh, some of the, because of the volcanic activity occurring in the in the basin and range in the Mojave Desert region in the past, some of the, those volcanic gases intermix with um, these uh, uh, ice age lake deposits and precipitated these borate minerals. Now. Um, uh, Remember, evaporites with boron. So as the lake levels dried up, uh, you made some of these evaporite minerals. And so their uses were uh, for ceramics. And they would make that nice polish on, on bathroom fixtures, like bathtubs and sinks, very nice uh, uh, finish on them. Uh, detergents, they're, they're good whiteners. Uh, they're uh, water softeners. They could, were used to preserve meat. You, you, they're used in ice cream to make it stiffer, uh, many uses. And um, so the, the first discoveries were made in, the, in about 1882 in, in Death Valley and the, the Pacific Coast uh, Borax Company started operations there in 1882 and were, and were mining um, the, the borate minerals in, on the Death Valley Playa. But the only problem with that is that they had to transport those minerals uh, over 275 kilometers uh, to the nearest railroad station, which was in, in the town of Mojave. Uh, and so they had to carry these, these um, uh, ore deposits in these 20 mule teams. So they would have these, actually they would have two of these ore carts with a water cart in the back. And each one of these ore carts were, pull, uh, uh, were pulled by, um, by 20 mules. And they had to go over uh, steep trails, mountain ranges, and, and sometimes they had problems with the brakes, um, temperatures in excess of 110 degrees centigrade. Very difficult work to move these ore carts. So each cart weighed about two tons, and, and it was loaded with four tons of ore. So you're looking at about 12,000 pounds per ore cart. And remember, there were two of them, and then plus the water, because on the, on the path between Death Valley and Mojave, there was only two or three springs where you can actually get water. Now, um, uh, very treacherous. Then in, um, in 1928, the, the um, uh, 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 I think his name was John, Str um, his name was um, jo uh, John Suckow. John Suckow, he's talked about here in your book. He uh, was drilling for water, looking for water, and discovered that there was quite a bit of borate minerals coming up out of the, 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 the well um, uh, tailings that they were bringing up. And so uh, a few more wells, and they, they discovered a very large deposit of, of borate minerals in the Mojave Desert, close to the town of Mojave. And, um, and then this town, Boron, was born because um, basically in 1928, the Pacific Coast Borax Company shut down operations in Death Valley and moved everything over to closer to the railways uh, uh, and they're called the Kramer deposits. So, um, uh, and today the the town of Boron is is produces most of the boron uh, for the U.S. and 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 ships quite a bit uh, out to um, uh, across the world. So, riches of the California desert, borate minerals. 
All right, well, let's stop here.